I'm a ceramic artist living in uh, Labrador City here in lovely Labrador West. And uh, I'm going to be exhibiting my work with my Labrador Erratics um, Art Show that was at the Newfoundland Labrador Craft Council Gallery on this Friday at the opening. And I, I can't believe, I can't believe that it's happening. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about my pieces. Uh, I'm excited about getting out there for the opening. It's going to be nice to travel from, uh, from Labrador West here to St. John's just to take it all in and experience that whole thing. This is very new for me. Uh, I've only been doing ceramic arts for about uh, four years, close to. And, but you know what, I love it. It's my main passion creatively in my life, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So uh, they asked me to do a little video talking about my show, and that's what this is. So I do, uh, I do a whole bunch of pottery, uh, you know, and I, I sell it here locally mostly, but I do send some stuff away. This is one of my Labrador Twig Thumb Hugger mugs. And I try to incorporate Labrador theme into a lot of my pottery. It kind of hugs your hug, hugs your thumb, <laughs> and uh, yeah. And I got uh, and I try to incorporate a lot of Northern Lights glaze into my pottery. And I make some different pieces. This is just a bit of this square, but this is kind of more along the lines of what I'm going to be featuring in the show. And uh, essentially, this is just uh, an earthenware clay that uh, has iron ore concentrate wedged into it and also uh, spread it on top of it. So you can kind of see, I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but there's a nice glitter to the iron ore concentrate. And the idea with using this for my ceramic art is basically, um, as an artist here in Labrador West, like we're a new area in Newfoundland and Labrador. Our town is only about 60 years old. So we don't have the hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of years of uh, culture uh, to draw upon for our art, I find, as inspiration. So I said to myself, uh, as a Labrador West artist, I said, what do we have here in Labrador West that I could incorporate into my art? So we have a whole lot of natural scenic beauty uh, with uh, miles and miles and miles of wilderness and northern lights galore and beautiful lakes and rivers but we also have industry and that's basically what drives this town we have a whole bunch of people that come in from all over the world they come in here and they work and they leave again so essentially uh, we don't have that culture so I said what can I do I said I'm going to try to give my art kind of an industrial feel with some of that natural beauty of Labrador. And I feel it gives a really nice contrast. Uh, and it makes it all really interesting because it's almost like a double-edged sword. You know, I actually work at the mine. So it's a double-edged sword for me because I know that mining is hard on the environment. Uh, you know, even though they have to reclaim the ground after they're done. But still, you know, it, it's, it's a very progressive industry it's you know aggressive it's like yeah it, it can be a little bit rough and the workers can be a bit rough and living in Labrador you know it's so isolated it's so cold long winters you know you got to be a bit tough to live up here so uh, anyway I feel like a lot of that and a lot of those ideas are incorporated into my pieces and uh, well, you know what, I can't deny the, the natural beauty of the Northern Lights. So, with my show, if you come and check it out at the Craft Council Gallery, uh, I, it'd be interesting because you'll see some pieces where there's like a, a face with flowing hair and it's all covered in the, in the Northern Lights. And then you get some pieces which are similar to this, which is a house with a, a ribbon of Northern Lights over it. So it gives you that, in one piece it gives you that contrast of you know the industry with the beauty and just to speak uh, briefly about the title of the show uh, Labrador erratics uh, erratic is a geological term and what that means is uh, when a glacier recedes 
and moves back, or it's melting or whatever, sometimes huge boulders are deposited from that glacier in the middle of a field. And those boulders are called erratics. And they stand out, and they're stark, and they're bold, and a lot of people are gonna think, where did it come from, you know? It's in an isolated spot. So I thought, you know what? I would like for my pieces to almost stand out starkly and boldly. And that was kind of the idea and what I was trying to achieve with my work. So, um, yeah. Anyway, with that, I'm soon going to be getting on a flight to travel out. I'm going to be double masking and being very safe because COVID is still going on, even though the lumber numbers are pretty low in our province. And thanks for taking a minute to uh, look at this video. And, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks to Craft Council Gallery.